People in a West Metro neighborhood are upset tonight. A convicted sex offender is moving in and neighbors are not happy about it. Matthew Van Hecke was a substitute teacher when he was convicted of having sexual contact with two young girls. He's moving in with his parents when he's released from prison tomorrow. David Schumann is in Victoria right now with the concerns of parents and how the state will be monitoring the man. David? You should have seen this meeting tonight. Hundreds of people packed in to grill the Department of Corrections about this man, the highest level of sex offender who, as of tomorrow, will be calling this neighborhood home. Look at this room. Is this a successful placement for this room? Since last week, when they had to be informed by law that Matthew Van Hecke was moving in, this community has gathered nearly 3,000 signatures in opposition. I can't think of a house around here that doesn't have kids. Van Hecke is a level three sex offender being released from a three plus year stint in prison. He was convicted of criminal sexual contact with two girls he knew, a seven and an eight year old. Van Hecke will be living with his parents. Neighbors wrote the Van Heckes an open letter pleading them to reconsider taking their son in. You are robbing the hundreds, and I mean hundreds, hundreds of kids in this neighborhood of their innocence. The Department of Corrections says agents have investigated the neighborhood, but proximity to children isn't as significant a factor in residential areas as it would be in apartment buildings with common living areas. Van Hecke will be under strict house arrest, GPS monitored, and everything he does at any hour must be approved. It doesn't satisfy some of these parents. I can't imagine that the judge, if it were his own neighborhood, would put his community in peril like this. Within Carver County, we've got plenty of rural areas where It'd be easy to live on, on more like a ranch or a farm. The DOC says five sex offenders are already living in Victoria and being monitored. An official also said you'd be hard pressed to find any neighborhood in Minnesota that didn't have children nearby. We tried to get in touch with Van Hecke's parents, didn't have any luck. There's also the possibility that he could be sent back to prison if he violates any of the rules that have been set for him. All right, David, thank you.